Hello and welcome to the Met Office forecast for the week ahead. Back to normal this week following the bank holiday weekend. And by that I mean there'll be some wind and rain by the end of the week across much of the UK. It's also going to turn much colder, 10 degrees or more in terms of the temperature drop by the weekend. How much colder? Well, this is the warmth that we've still got with us on Tuesday. And watch the colour change and by Saturday. We're back into the blues and in some places temperatures five degrees or more lower compared to average. And we'll be talking a return of frosts in some places by the weekend and even some snow. Not for most places, of course, but for some mountains, yes. The change takes place during Tuesday night, effectively, and it is a thundery breakdown in places. The jet stream to blame, that fast-blowing current of air high in the sky above us, it tends to pick up these areas of low pressure to the south of us on Tuesday night and drive them towards the UK. And of course, as those clash with the relatively warm air on top of the UK, we are talking about thunderstorms in places. Now, through Tuesday night and into the start of Wednesday, really it's across southwest England and South Wales where we're likely to have some showers, even a few flashes of lightning to start off Wednesday. So a wet start here, but elsewhere a drier start with sunshine for western Scotland, northwest England, but a lot of low cloud there for North Sea coasts and a chilly wind coming in from the North Sea. So lower temperatures in many places, but we keep a slice of warmth across the middle of the country. Low 20s still possible, and we've still got that strong sunshine across the Midlands, and that warmth ahead of the rain in the southwest, helping to set off some serious thunderstorms on Wednesday afternoon. Torrential thunderstorms in places, some heavy rain out there, large hail, and frequent lightning possible. All around the Midlands into northern England, you can see them progressing northwards through the day on Wednesday, so watch out for those they could cause some issues in places with the torrential rainfall, the hail and the lightning. So we'll be keeping a keen eye on those. But further north across Scotland and Northern Ireland, a dry day to come on Wednesday. A few spots of rain there in the east of Scotland. But the thunderstorms across Northern England, they tend to push their way northwards across the UK through Wednesday night. They ease away and then we open the door to low pressure. And that low pressure brings areas of rain and showers across all parts through Thursday. There will be some sunshine in between these weather fronts, so it's not a complete washout on Thursday, but certainly a much more unsettled day for many places. Those showers fairly heavy, and there'll be some lightning still remaining in some of these downpours with hail a possibility as well. And gusty winds surrounding these showers will of course make it feel colder compared to recent days. Temperatures still slightly above average in many spots, however, but colder air is on the way. You can see it there, just to the south of Greenland. Of course, as that mixes with warm air over the mid-Atlantic, it powers a fast-flowing jet stream, and that jet stream now starting to influence the weather a lot more compared to recent weeks. It's going to pick up this area of low pressure and deepen it. How deep will that low pressure go? Well, that's open to doubt at the moment, and it will impact our weather on Friday night and into the start of the weekend. Ahead of that low, we've got another feature moving through on Friday to bring, again, another day of sunny spells and lively downpours with hail mixed in and gusty winds and all of that sort of thing. And the temperatures continue their downward trend, 11 to 13 degrees. But later Friday, all eyes are on this area of low pressure because it's likely to deepen. And if it gets sufficiently deep, we'll have gales around western coasts and some heavy rainfall crossing the country by the start of Saturday. Colder air digs in behind that low as well, and that means that some of the rain could even turn to snow over the tops of the Welsh mountains, the Pennines and the Scottish mountains. But at lower levels, of course, it will still be rain. Temperatures, though, on Saturday, a few degrees below average and 10 degrees or more below compared to the previous Saturday. So a much colder feel on Saturday. There'll be some sunshine out there, but there'll be also be frequent showers moving through as well as gusty winds. A frosty start in places on Sunday, but actually we see milder air arrive from the southwest through the day, accompanied by yeah, wind and some rain. So we're back to that typical changeable Atlantic driven weather by the weekend. Temperatures up and down each day, wind and rain to watch out for as well. A lot going on over the next few days. You'll want to keep up to date with all the latest via the Met Office app and social media channels. Bye bye.